in being a scientist, one of my favorite parts is that we get to make observations and pose questions or um, find mysteries that remain and we try to answer them. This particular wreck is a really interesting one from an ecological perspective because the wreck structure itself rises about 50 to 60 feet off the seafloor. And so basically what it's doing is creating an underwater skyscraper, if you will. Um, it's creating this vertically extensive habitat that can interact with the currents, especially on a day like today, and often creates a buffet. This area is just so dynamic, ecologically, biologically, we have the warm water associated with the Gulf Stream current mixing with the Labrador-associated colder water flowing southward from the north. And that creates this environment that is ecologically diverse. This to me is such a quintessential example of how valuable these shipwrecks are as habitats um, after they sink to the seafloor. It's just a, a whole new life for these shipwrecks and it's just so remarkable. To me, that's one of my favorite things about studying shipwrecks is that there are these experimental networks, these multiple sites in different conditions, some shallow, some deep, some older, some more recent. And so they're really just incredible places for us to be able to ask ecological questions um, and more so to be able to have this fusion of the ecology and the history 